Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you can't hear there's some really noisy neighbours next door and they're doing some work on the roof. So fingers crossed you can't hear it and if you can, sorry. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. So today's video is going to be an updated wish list video. So a few people have requested this, so I thought I would do it. And I just want to say before I get started, thank you so much to everybody who has let me borrow their pictures so that I can, while talking about the plant, I'm interested, pop it up here and show you guys what the plant looks like in case you don't know. A few of them are quite rare. So it is a long wish list, but also keep in mind that... Yeah, some of them are really expensive and a few of them are from my old wish list. But the reason I'm doing an updated wish list is that I pretty much got like, I don't know, I'm going to say 70 to 80% of the plants on my previous wish list. So I've got a new wish list. Some of these plants were already actually on my wish list, but I didn't want to make that video too long. So they've just moved up. Cool. And before we get started, I just want to mention that some of the plants on this wish list are really either really rare really expensive or both so obviously I don't expect to get um, the majority of these in the next little wee while although never say never right I mean there were a lot of plants in my previous video that I didn't think I would be able to get but plant prices in New Zealand have been decreasing so fast like it is ridiculous since my last updated wish list video there were a few plants that I got so much cheaper than when I filmed that video I was expecting to get them for because yeah plant prices are just decreasing so much everybody is so into plants at the moment that people are just buying 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 which means that the more people who have those plants the cheaper they become basically so yeah the prices that I might mention in this video obviously I'm not going to get give specific prices but I will kind of say like whether they're rare common blah 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 sort of like estimates of how much they are worth obviously keep in mind that this and that that information applies to right now as I publish this video and not in the future because yeah they will no doubt will change <laughs> if you're watching this in a year or so's time. So yeah, anyway, I think we will just get started and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so number one on my wish list, and I'm so sad that I missed out, is the Hoya Australis Lisa. So if you don't know, this plant was really, really rare in New Zealand. And Plant Project has just released them really decent sized plants of this for a really good price, like really good compared to how much they were going for in the past. If you don't know, when I first got into plants, this was one of the first Hoyas ever to be on my wish list, but I've had it forever in the pile of too hard to get, too expensive, don't even bother basically. So yeah, it's been in that category for such a long time. I've only really ever seen them being sold maybe in the last, probably this year in 2021. Before that, never saw them like ever. And even then they were a couple leaf cuttings for upwards of a thousand dollars. So the fact that Plant Project has just released them for a really big problem plant too for a really good great price is amazing because it means that they're going to become more accessible to everybody in New Zealand because they're beautiful and of course they are my namesake plant it's got Lisa in the name so that's another reason other than the fact that they are just gorgeous so yeah I'm really gutted that I miss out on the first release but there is going to be another release they have said and not 100% sure when they are, have said that in the next eight weeks they will be doing another big release so I just gotta wait for that so by the time I next do another updated wish list video I should have that plant in my collection but yeah I just wanted to mention it because it's so beautiful and I'm super excited and in case you didn't know what has been going on with that so I'm very excited that I will definitely be getting one of these in my collection and I'm not going to have to wait too long anymore and it can finally be in my current wish list, not in the back of my mind wish list. So that's great. Okay, the next plant on my wish list is from my previous wish list. So there are a few plants in this wish list that I carried on from the last one. So I won't really talk about them very much because pretty much the same thing that I said in the first video applies now. I just haven't got them yet but they remain in my wish list so the next one 
is a Thai constellation, or, which is a type of variegated monstera. And like I said, the same applies as in my previous wish list. The reason that I haven't got one, even though I definitely could by now, is the fact that I don't have any space for it. So one day, hopefully in the future, I will be able to get one of these. So, but for now, it remains on my wish list. That, and I will just plan on getting one when I'm able to. Okay, next on my wish list is a Hoya Elliptica. This is a really beautiful Hoya. I'm not actually 100% sure whether these are even in NZ. I assume that they are, but I haven't seen them being sold anywhere. So it would be great if you have seen one or know anything about it. If you could let me know if they are actually here or not. I just think it's really stunning. If you have watched any of my past videos and I've met, talked about where I've talked about Hoyas, you will know that I just love Hoyas with like different types of veining. This one has beautiful veining, so that is the main reason why I would really like one. But I actually have absolutely no idea what the price of one of these would be or what to expect or anything. So yeah, it's on my wish list, but it's probably not one that I'm likely to be getting anytime soon. Cool, the next plant is also from my previous wish list and I still haven't got hold of one. The prices on these have not gone down at all since the last time I talked about them. Maybe a little bit, but still way, way above what I am prepared to pay for a plant. So again, I haven't got one and it is a Hoya Curiae Variegated. Um, particularly this type of variegation, you'll see a picture up here of what it looks like. There are reverse variegation, but I like this one in particular. Like I said, it's just too expensive, just gotta wait. In other news, my normal Hoya carrier has just put out a new leaf, which is really exciting because it hasn't done anything for like a whole year. So that's super exciting, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait for one of these. Hopefully one day the price will go down, but for some reason, I believe it's because they're so slow, Hoya carrier and Hoya carrier variegated, the prices still remain quite high. But yeah, I would say it's because they're such slow growers. I mean, if my one is anything to go by, so slow, so, 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 slowest plant in my whole collection, for sure. So there, I'd say that's probably why the prices are still really high. Cool, the next plant on my wish list is a new one. It is a Philodendron Rio or Cream Splash. To be honest, I can't tell the difference between the two, so yeah, I'm not... <laughs> Either or is fine. I don't even know if there is a difference. If there is a difference, can you please hit me up in the comments down below? Because I don't know. To me, they both look the same. But I've heard both names, so I'm not too sure. Uh, the picture that is up here is a cream splash, I believe, specifically. So, yeah, I just think it's beautiful. I absolutely love my Brazil. If you have seen my top eight favourite plants my brazil is in there it's just stunning and uh, yeah so i really love these because they have this nice kind of creamy white stripe as well as the yellow and all of that so it's really lovely but yeah prices are still a little bit expensive i don't really want to pay that much money for a philodendron prices are still a little bit too expensive for me i'm just gonna wait a little bit i mean i remember when the brazil was like down like hundreds and hundreds of dollars so you know it's quite likely that these may also come down in price i mean brazil is a very common plant now so the same could happen for these who knows what's going to happen but yeah i'll just wait and see what the prices do Cool, the next plant is a Hoya erythrostema, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So it is kind of similar to me as the Hoya elliptica, but it, and it does have the veining, but it's just not really as pronounced as the elliptica. But I do think that the leaf shape is kind of similar just from the pictures that I've seen. And it has a really lovely flower as well. I believe that these are quite rare in New Zealand. I saw one on a, a cutting on a website for about $500 recently. I haven't actually seen any on Trade Me, although this is a new plant to my wish list, so I probably just haven't seen any while they've been on Trade Me, and there's just been none recently. So yeah, I just think it's a really nice plant, but again, the price is just too expensive, so I'll just hold off on this one and hope that it comes down in price, hopefully soon, but I'll probably just have to wait for that, and that's okay, because it is quite similar to some of the other plants that, uh, some of the other Hoya that I do already own. Next we have a very expensive plant. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. 
I think it's really beautiful. I'm not like a massive fan of allocations to begin with. I do have a allocation, I can't pronounce it, Michael for something or another. Um, I'll put the name here because I can't remember, but it quite often gets called a Frydeck, so I just call it a Frydeck. That's my one allocation. I had another one, but I wasn't that keen on it, so I sold it. But I do think that this is a really beautiful, beautiful allocation, but so expensive. One of the most expensive plants I've seen in New Zealand recently. You're looking at at least a couple grand, if not more. So yeah, that one's going to have to wait for probably... A while <laughs> who knows though like I said prices might come down on them eventually if they ever do get to a point where I can afford it then great I will snatch one up but until then I'll just have to be patient and wait and admire everybody else's next on my wish list is a Hoya Cronia I'm not really sure how to pronounce it obviously the name will be here preferably a splashy one I've also seen one that has a really nice silver leaf that would be really cool too I don't have a picture of it but I believe that those ones are a little bit more expensive than just the kind of plain slightly splashy one like this picture here these are just really cute the shape of them is really nice and they kind of remind me of like a lacunosa as well as a curtsy eye just because yeah they kind of got like I don't know they're just sort of similar but they're just really cute really dainty little leaves and yeah I think they're super cute but I do think that the price is kind of like a little bit expensive still it's not too bad there is definitely a lot of way more expensive plants on my wish list than this one but yeah still a little bit expensive might just give it like another six months or so and see what happens um, but yeah very cute so the next plant on my wish list is not like one that I super super need or super love but I do quite like it. It is a Hoya David Kamingio. I think that's how you pronounce it. I do like the leaves and the kind of the margin around them. That's quite nice. I'm not like I really need it and super desperate for it so it is kind of like lower in my wish list. But one day if they were a decent price then I would definitely get one if I was able to. But while they're still rare and expensive as they are right now I'm very happy to just wait and hold off yeah so this one is kind of like one I'm not really actively seeking but if the opportunity arose and it was a good price then I would totally go for it I don't see that happening anytime soon but yeah so it's kind of like very low on my wish list but it is a really nice Hoya nonetheless Next, just to break up because there's so many Hoyas, I have to like chuck in a few other species in here because you, as you'll see, majority of my wish list is Hoyas because I love Hoyas, they're my favourite species of plant. The next plant is a Pothos Mandula. These are beautiful, it's kind of similar to a Marble Queen Pothos and also an enjoy pothos probably more similar to an enjoy than a marble queen and quite often it's quite hard to tell the difference to be honest some of the mandulas i've seen they could easily just be enjoy so i'm very cautious about this one if i were ever to get one i would have to be really sure that it isn't actually a mandula especially because the price difference between a mandula and an enjoy is super wide <laughs> an enjoy is pretty common nowadays whereas a mandula is a quite rare so you're looking at like 250 plus for a cutting of that guy and I'm not really that keen to pay that much money for just a pothos which is a pretty fast growing plant and I mean the chances that these could become a new release in New Zealand is I think it's possible I mean here we were thinking that they would never get enjoy and then they came along and now they're really easy to get so you never know really what's going to happen so I think I'll definitely just hold out and wait for this one or if the price drops a lot then I would really love one because I think they are beautiful and, and some of them are definitely different to an enjoy some of the ones I've seen do look very similar but there are some that are quite different so it would be lovely to have one of these in my collection but yeah again I'll just wait for the prices to come down because yeah a little bit crazy the next plant is probably quite high up on my wish list I would say I definitely would really like one of these like 
probably soon but I'm definitely gonna wait a little bit because the prices are still a little bit expensive they have been coming down but still a bit too high so I'll just keep waiting I can't pronounce this one at all I don't even know how to pronounce it so the name is here Hoya Huchula something or another Variegata honestly no idea I don't even <laughs> no idea and I can't spell it either so yeah this is such a beautiful plant it's really random just never ever saw these until probably a couple months ago and now they're just popping up everywhere so I think that there's a good chance that the price of these will come down because it seems like they're becoming more common than in the past when I never saw them and now I'm seeing them quite regularly so yeah again I'm just gonna have to wait for that one but if the price is right then I would definitely get one or if I'm able to do a plant trade then that would be ideal because yeah it is quite high on my wish list because it's such a beautiful Hoya whereas some of the other Hoyas on my wish list I want them but I'm happy to wait but I would like one of these ones like within the next year or so it's kind of yeah if that makes more sense the next plant on my wish list is similar to the Hoya David Kamungii in that I'm not like super in a rush for this or anything. It is Hoya Trubiana. So I think that the leaf shape is just kind of interesting. It's quite nice and it's quite big. I haven't really seen these being sold too much either so I'm not 100% sure what kind of like price range these are at how common or not they are I haven't really seen anything being sold so yeah it's kind of it's very low on my wish list if like the same for the david kamangii if it at some point it becomes more available and a lot cheaper and something came up that was like a really great deal then i would totally be keen for one but i'm just happy to wait until that day comes because i'm not in any rush to get hold of one of these they just think they're kind of interesting but they're not like oh my gosh i need it right now next on my wish list is still on my wish list from my previous wish list i haven't gotten hold of one of these yet but the prices are definitely coming down, so I'm very hopeful. It is a Hoya Bertonia, I think is how you pronounce it, not 100% sure. So yeah, this was in my previous wish list video. I said that I wasn't in a super rush for it because they are quite similar to Bilabada, which I still stand by. But they, uh, they are quite different. And my dream is to have one that looks like the picture that I've got up here. Big, full, beautiful, trailing one. I think that is amazing. But yeah, like I said, prices are coming down, so it's kind of creeping up to the top of my wish list as it becomes more affordable. So I'm just waiting a little bit longer and to see what happens because I don't want to pay too much and then suddenly they're like super, super duper common. And I think that it's quite possible that it might happen soon. So yeah, I'll just hold off a little bit. And once they're at an affordable price, then I'll snatch one up for sure. The next plant on my wish list is another Hoya. Spoiler alert, the rest of the plants on this wish list are Hoyas, apart from one philodendron. <laughs> so sorry about that. I just really, really love Hoyas, in case you didn't know. So the next plant on my wish list is a Hoya Rebecca. This is a beautiful plant, so I believe Hopefully I've got this right. I did do a quick Google before doing this video to make sure that I got it right. So I believe it is a cross between a Hoya Lacunosa Langwai Island, which I'm not actually sure what that is, and an obs Hoya Obscura. Anyway, I think they're just beautiful. So it, it looks like, a, it kind of looks like a Lacunosa, which I do already have, but it gets like really nice sun stressing red kind of pinky vibes, which is beautiful. And again, I just love all Hoyas that have lovely veining and it does have that as well. So this is also on my wish list but again I'm not 100% sure how available these are so I would love to know if you have any idea because yeah it would be great but I have a feeling they might be quite uncommon to rear so probably a high price tag but he's hoping they come down in price. The next Hoya on my wish list. This almost should have just been an updated Hoya wish list video. <laughs> There's so many Hoyas. Next one is a can't say it. Hoya Loisandruisiana. It's on my previous wish list video. I had it down as a Hoya latifolia. I'm still not 100% what is happening with the name of this. It's 
I believe it was called a letter folia and now it's been reclassified to the loisy whatever it is. But yeah, it's often just referred to as the, the dinner plate hoya. So this is still on my wish list and the prices have not come down at all. They're still majorly expensive, so it will continue to be on my wish list until it is not majorly expensive, basically. Super beautiful though, huge, huge leaves and yeah, veining as well. So like all the things that I love, huge leaf toy with veining amazing but yeah just too expensive next on my wish list is a philodendron amame so this could be a realistic plant for me to get although i'm not like super super duper crazy about them if you don't know variegation station which is an online website in new zealand released these quite recently pretty good size plants too for around i think they were about 200 and 50, 200, somewhere between 250 and 300 they were really set and I think they had two grades as well so there was like a smaller and a larger grade. I didn't get one and they went really fast anyways but I did, I'd never heard of them before either to be honest. Yeah, I popped them on my wish list because it does look like a beautiful philodendron. But it's very similar to a philodendron sodoroi, especially the sodoroys when they are more mature. So yeah, it's very similar to that, which I love, but I think because it looks like the leaves do get quite big, it might be one of those plants that I kind of hold off on until I um, have space, basically, because I'm really running out of space. To be honest, a lot of the plants on the Swish list, I don't even know how I'd fit them in my house at the moment. I've already gotten a few of a few plants, so yeah, that's kind of on the... One day I'll probably get one, but I'm not too fussed about it right now. So it's like at the at that lower end of my wish list. Um, but it does look very beautiful and sounds like it's going to be a lot more affordable in the next year or so anyways. Next on my wish list is a Hoya Obscura. So I mentioned Hoya Obscura when I was talking about the Rebecca. So I also like this Hoya. Not too sure how available these are in New Zealand. I think they are still quite expensive. Um, but again, what's not to love about it? It's got the veining and it's very well known for the sun stressing red and the pinky look, which is stunning. So yeah, again, would definitely love one of these in my collection one day. But not looking like it's likely anytime soon, but that's fine. I can still have things on my wish list even though I might not be getting them soon. That's fine. Okay, we've got a couple more Hoyas to go and then we're all done. So the next Hoya is a, the Macrophyllum Variegata, whatever the name is here anyways. This was on my previous wish list and I would still like one. So it's uh, still on the wish list, but prices have not gone down. Still super mega expensive. So yeah, we'll continue to wait for one of these. It would be like top of my wish list if it was cheap, but it's not. So it's... All the way down at the bottom because it's unlikely that I'm going to be getting one anytime soon. And following on from that is another plan that is on my wish list from previous. Still on my wish list, still haven't got hold of one, but prices are definitely going down on these guys since I last mentioned it. It's a Hoya Globulosa. It is creeping its way up to probably the top of my wish list because the prices are slowly getting more affordable. So I think that in the next six months or to a year, the prices will be a lot more manageable and I'll actually be able to get hold of one. They were quite expensive when I last mentioned them, but yeah definitely going down and I still love it it's just got like really funky leaves and they're kind of like crinkled and textured and funny shaped and I don't know I just like them for some reason um and yeah so it's creeping its way up to the top of my wish list anyway cool and the last two plants on my wish list I don't even know I'm pretty sure they're very rare in New Zealand so very low all the way at the bottom of my wish list. First is a Hoya Rosita. Recently on Facebook I saw someone put up a picture of their one on the Hoya um, Facebook page. Never seen one before and I was like, whoa, that's stunning. So I added it to my wish list for one day. But yeah, like I said, too expensive, so one day in the future. 
And then the last plan on my wish list again, another super rewind, so not likely to be getting it any time soon, but is a Hoya Wai Yeti eye. It's kind of like a shepherd eye or a mini bell, like kind of those kind of vibes, but it's kind of got like a quite a nice margin around it, which I quite like. But yeah, these are very uncommon in New Zealand. And until then, it's way down the bottom of my wish list because yeah, I don't see myself being able to get hold of one of these anytime soon. So yeah, anyway, that is all of the plants on my wish list, which I pretty much should have just called my Hoya wish list, because it was basically all Hoya. Um, so yeah, those are all of the plants on my wish list. Cool, so that is my updated 2021 wish list video completed. Hopefully I gave you guys some inspiration and maybe not too much inspiration that you're gonna break your wallet. But anyway, just keep in mind that, like I kind of said at the start, some of them are really expensive, so I don't expect to get them anytime soon. And there are a few on that wish list that are more obtainable, I guess you would say, as I would have mentioned during that video, so yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Please give it a like. That really, really helps me out. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye.